Kim Dae-gyun's new TOEIC, Practice Test Part 1 and 2. Practice Test 1. Number 1. A. The man is resting his chin on his hand. B. They are using a keyboard. C. The woman is taking off her glasses. D. The man is handing over documents to one of the women. Number 2. A. The flooring is being installed. B. The room has just been cleaned. C. There is a picture frame on the windowsill. D. There are lamps on both sides of the table. Number 3. A. They are racing on the track. B. They are doing stretches outside. C. They are putting on their uniforms. D. They are dancing in the grass. Number 4. A. The kettle is placed on the stove. B. The chopping board is being used. C. Dinner has been prepared for guests. D. The countertop was just repaired. Number 5. A. Men are carrying the sofa. B. Furniture has been loaded in the trunk. C. There was a car accident on the road. D. Men are taking a break. Number 6. A. The assembly line is busy. B. Products are out of stock. C. Many items are stacked up. D. Merchandise is being produced. Number 7. A. Curtains are drawn over the windows. B. All of the people are crouching. C. People have protective masks on. D. People are trying on hats. Number 8. A. The school has been closed down. B. The fountain is encircled by stairs. C. Some people are going for a swim. D. The fountain is being repaired. Number 9. A. They are setting the table. B. They are having a conversation. C. The chairs are all occupied. D. A glass is being poured. Number 10. A. A boat is crowded with passengers. B. Buildings overlook the water. C. Ships are preparing to set sail. D. The waves are very rough in the harbor. Part 2. Practice Test 1. Number 11. Will there be enough room for all 70 guests? A. 72 to be exact. B. It will be a little tight, but I think so. C. It's the most people we've ever had. Number 12. Was the holiday as satisfying as you expected? A. We went to Cancun, Mexico as expected. B. I anticipate around August 3rd, but I'm not sure. C. I had a thoroughly enjoyable time. Number 13. Pardon me, but I think you dropped your glove by the rearmost exit. A. I haven't any gloves with me, but thanks. B. I wonder why it's there. C. I'll leave by this exit right here. Number 14. Wasn't last night's baseball game an intense one? A. I only saw the first half, so I don't know. B. It was only 7-3, to three, wasn't it? C. Yes, I'll be able to go to many more games now. Number 15. There are some tricky parts in the contract, so read it carefully. A. I like reading even more than seeing movies. B. Yes, I'll go over it very slowly. C. There are three parts altogether. Number 16. Why did the company relocate to that town? A. I think it will happen in about a month. B. I think it has to do with reduced tax rates. C. 
I think they have about six retail locations. Number 17. What is the subject of Dr. Feynman's discourse this week? A. My doctor's appointment is next week, actually. B. I believe it's in Carnaby Hall on the third floor. C. The same as last week, but in more detail. Number 18. Did anyone order lunch from the diner yet? A. It should be here in 10 minutes. B. I'll have a salad and a roll, please. C. I already had my lunch a while ago. Number 19. Is this model really suitable for a petite woman? A. It was designed with them in mind. B. Yes, she would be a great model. C. That's right. It's a woman's business suit. Number 20. How long until the Chatsworth to Fleming bus departs? A. Once every 90 minutes. B. It takes two and a half hours non-stop. C. The next one is scheduled for 3.22. Number 21. Are these sales documents in alphabetical order or random? A. I took the order for that sale. B. They're arranged by date. C. Their order forms and invoices. Number 22. Don't you think it's more chilly these days than before? A. I haven't been there before, but I've been to Peru. B. Apparently this cool weather will continue for a while. C. Yes, this time I'd like more chilly than you gave me before. Number 23. How frequently do we revise our price list? A. Not often at all. B. I revised it last week. C. Yes, we do. Number 24. Why did you decline the Robertson's wedding invitation? A. I'll be out of town on the wedding day. B. I've never been to a wedding before. C. Their youngest daughter is getting married. Number 25. Is airmail the speediest way to get a package to Namibia? A. Three flights every week. B. Priority post might be a better way. C. Email sometimes takes only a few seconds. Number 26. What seats do you have available for this evening's performance? A. They're all the same, soft cushions and very comfortable. B. The doors open at 7.15 and the program begins at 8 o'clock. C. We have nothing left at all, I'm afraid. Number 27. How much wood do you think we'll need to construct a new dock? A. Yes, a new dock and also a couple of small benches. B. I'm not sure, so we better take some measurements. C. Definitely wood is the best material to use. Number 28. Why don't we just get directions to the church from a local? A. Perhaps we should. This map seems all wrong. B. You should go north for about a kilometre and a half. C. Just watch what other people do and listen to the minister. Number 29. What's been done to ensure we'll have enough stock for the big sale? A. I spoke with the insurance company about it yesterday. B. Nothing more can be done. Our warehouse is full already. C. We ran ads in all the local newspapers and on the radio. Number 30. I seldom change the oil in my car. A. About once every 7,000 kilometers. B. I have it done at the garage just down the street. C. That's not very wise and you could have problems. Number 31. Do you think a tax increase is inevitable? A. Probably about 8%. B. Not necessarily. C. Taxes are already too high. Number 32. 
Where does Mildred, the claims adjuster, sit? A. In that corner by the acacia plant. B. Sit wherever you please. C. She works on other duties now. Number 33. Which rooms are the most restful, garden view or pool view? A. The pool area can become quite noisy sometimes. B. Both views are lovely in their own way. C. We don't have any garden view rooms available tonight. Number 34. Have you filed your biannual report yet? A. I do it twice a year. B. It's not due until next week. C. These reports are a nuisance. Number 35. Would you like to meet for brunch at Antoine's cafe? A. I already met Antoine. B. I am too busy this morning. C. I'm a vegetarian and don't eat meat. Number 36. Do you find Michael as affable as I do? A. Yes, he always tells the funniest jokes. B. I didn't realize that. C. I certainly do. He's charming. Number 37. Which elective course do you think you'll choose? A. I can't decide between history and Latin. B. I must choose by Friday. C. No, I didn't choose that one. Number 38. Why did the receptionist insist on seeing identification? A. They had a robbery and are increasing security. B. I just showed her my driver's license and a credit card. C. Yes, the receptionist can identify whomever you need to see. Number 39. How long will it take you to diagnose the problem? A. I will run some tests and we'll see what it is. B. If it is a hardware problem, I'll be able to spot it quickly. C. One of these older software programs is probably causing the trouble. Number 40. Do you think we might become intimate friends? A. Frankly, I don't like you very much. B. It's always good to have friends. C. Yes, friends shouldn't in... Kim Dae-gyun's new TOEIC, Practice Test Part 3 and 4. Part 3, Practice Test 1. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. I have heard different rumors to the effect that the company is going to change accounting firms sometime soon. That would be a radical change. Do you have any idea if it's true? I don't know for certain, but it would not surprise me. Last month, I saw some men go into a meeting with our executives, and I am sure one of them was the husband of a friend. He's a senior executive at Miller & Myers Accounting. Wow, then that's it. I'm sure the rumor's true, but I wonder why they'd make a change. McCain & Associates have been these companies' accountants since the day they started business. Well, I do know the board of directors was really distressed last year when they learned how high the corporate tax bill was going to be. Maybe McCain just made a serious mistake that cost the company money. Question 41. What are the people discussing? Question 42. What does the woman say about the stories about change? Question 43. Why is the change likely happening? Question 
Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Ron. It's Mary at AutoCheck. I'm calling to let you know what the work on your car will be finished before noon tomorrow and you can pick it up any time after that. It looks like the total bill will be between $150 and $170, by the way. That's great. Jerry quoted me $200 before starting the job. You have my credit card number, so just make up a slip and I'll sign it later if needed. But I'm out of town tomorrow, so I can't pick it up then. That's not a problem. Any time that's convenient is okay. If you like, I could have one of our hoppers drop it by your place. Jesse actually lives only a couple of blocks from you. That would be fantastic. Why don't you do that and add an extra $10 to my bill as a tip for him? Question 44. What is the woman's main purpose in calling? Question 45. Who worked on the car? Question 46. What is the maximum that will be charged to the man's credit card? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Welcome back, Leslie. How was your trip to Rome? Did you get the business done that you wanted to? It was productive. I got a lot more work done with our Italian affiliates than I had hoped to. Definitely worth going there in person for two days rather than just using phones and faxes and emails. Coming home was horrid, though. A nightmare. Oh, no. Let me guess. Were you one of those passengers I heard about on the news? Stranded in Heathrow for over 20 hours when the police spotted a suspicious piece of luggage. That's it. We spent 21 tedious hours in the transit holding area with nothing to do. A three-hour stopover turned a four-day trip into five because of some inconsiderate fool left a bag unattended. Question 47. How long was the woman in Rome? Question 48. How does the woman describe her time in Rome? Question 49. Why was the woman delayed at Heathrow? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I'm James Shaw. I'd like to book the Talberg Hall for our company's annual dinner on the 23rd of next month. We have used it for the past 17 years, and it is ideal for our purposes. I'm afraid that room will be undergoing redecorating from the 15th through to the 25th. Would an earlier or later date suit you? There are openings on the 14th and again on the 27th. Oh, that's a pity. No, we cannot change the date. Do you have other conference halls or ballrooms of comparable size? Big enough for 120 people to dine and dance, and a hold a head table and rostrum? Actually, other than the grand ballroom, which is too large, all our rooms are unavailable for that period. I am very sorry. Would you like us to check some of the other hotels in this area? I am sure our manager can find something suitable. Question 50. Where is the conversation taking place? Question 51. When does the man need the room? Question 52. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. This computer is maddening. The programs run really fast, but when I first start it, it seems to take forever before it is actually ready and I can use it. I don't understand. Is that a virus or something? Of course it's fast. It has the latest processor available. 
You aren't online, so it's not a virus. Likely your problem is that there are too many background programs loading when you start. That slows it down a lot. I'm not sure I know what you mean by background programs and loading. I'm really a novice. I know how to use a word processing program and do email, but nothing else. OK, restart it and I'll have a look. I'm no expert, so we'll see what's loading. The ones that aren't needed can be just deleted from the startup process. It will be fine once we do that. Question 53. What is the man's problem? Question 54. What does the woman say about the man's computer? Question 55. What will they do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. There are no breaks in the arm or elbow, and no inflammation, but it is obviously quite painful for you. You say it started a few weeks ago? That's right, shortly after a tennis game. It went away after about an hour, but the next time I played it was even worse. That's how it has continued, a little bit worse and lasting a little bit longer each time I play. Ah, we've found the problem. It's tennis elbow. I'd suggest you do three things. See a sports therapist who can massage it. Treat it with an ice pack before you sleep. Have a tennis coach watch you play and look for flaws in your swing. You know, I think you're right. This all started after I began hitting my backhand shots differently. I tried to do something I read in a magazine to add power to the shot. Question 56. Where is this conversation taking place? Question 57. What does the man say about the pain? Question 58. What does the woman not suggest? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Mrs. Grange. This is Heather at Just Right Supplies. Our records show that it's been four months since your last photocopy toner order, and you usually order about once every 40 days. We are currently having a sale, so it would be an opportune time to order. Yes, you're right. The reason is that we got a new copy machine two months ago, and it uses a different cartridge, which I don't believe you carry. Oh, I'm sure we have it. We carry virtually all brands and models. Perhaps if you could send along your new copier model number, I can check stock and get back to you with pricing. All right. I will email it to you. But we received a rather large supply of toner free with the installation of the copier, and we're probably OK for another two to three months. Question 59. Why does Heather call Mrs. Grange? Question 60. When did Mrs. Grange last buy toner? Question 61. Why is Mrs. Grange unlikely to buy toner now from Just Right? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Everything on the menu looks quite delicious, although I admit I don't know what some things actually are. Is there anything that you particularly recommend? I'm told the chicken Kiev is not up to normal standards today, but both the prime rib of beef and the veal masala are exceptionally good. You might enjoy one of those with a rich chocolate mousse for dessert. That is certainly our most popular sweet. It sounds appealing, but I'm trying to lose a bit of weight. I think I'll just have the veal and forego dessert. We do have a delightful light cake with very few calories. I'm sure you'd like it. Question 62. 
What does the woman ask the man to do? Question 63. What does the man not recommend? Question 64. How does the man describe the cake? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon and welcome to Bryson's Buildall. I'm Dave. How can we be of assistance today? I live at 325 Travelly Lane. Yesterday, one of your trucks made a delivery on my street. After they finished, your workers kept the truck there until late afternoon with loud music playing and then left all sorts of garbage behind on the street. I am terribly sorry. That is completely against company policy. Just let me check our records and see who was scheduled for that delivery. I assure you they will be dealt with harshly by the boss. I don't wish to see anyone punished or fired. I simply bring it to your attention so that you might instruct your drivers to show a little more courtesy and common sense in future. Question 65. What is the woman there to do? Question 66. What will the man do first? Question 67. What does the woman ask the man to do? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Hey, Ronnie. I know you haven't played for a while, but I wonder if you might like to play hockey on Sunday with us? Bruce, our goaltender, has come down with the flu, so we could use your help. That sounds like fun, Adam, but I haven't been on skates in years. Besides, my wife and I had planned to take the kids out of town for a day of skiing or sleigh riding. I understand. That's too bad. Frank Nelson said he'd play, except that he lost all his goalie equipment in a garage fire last year and hasn't replaced it. I don't suppose you know of anyone who could fill in. Well, listen, I'd be happy to let him use mine. It's still in good shape. Just tell him to call first and then come by and pick it up by Saturday. Question 68. Why does Adam call Ronnie? Question 69. Why can't the regular goaltender play? Question 70. What does Ronnie offer to do? Kim De Gyun's New Toei Practice Test Part 3 and 4. Part 4 Practice Test 1. Directions. You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following talk. Today, we will discuss the role of protein in your bodybuilding program here at Max's Gym. I'm sure you all know that protein is important, and in fact, it is simply impossible to build muscle or even sustain life without it. Perhaps what you do not fully understand, though, is just how important it is to consume large quantities if you wish to add mass and gain weight. It is pointless to follow a disciplined, regular workout regimen if your body is not receiving enough protein to convert that hard work into muscle. In effect, your muscles are protein. When you work out with heavy weights, what you're doing is destroying muscle tissue. That is why you do it. To get bigger and stronger, your body must replace and add to that muscle tissue you just damaged. 
But how can it do that if the raw materials, the building blocks, are not available in large enough quantities? That is how you must think of protein, the building blocks of muscle. Question 71. Who is most likely the speaker? Question 72. What is not mentioned about protein? Question 73. What is said about exercising? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following news report. In an announcement that surprised everyone, Chief Elections Officer Garrett Donaldson today declared that the results of last week's election for City Council were invalid. According to Donaldson, irregularities in the procedures at a number of polling stations, along with the fact that some ballot boxes appeared to have not been properly locked, nullify the results in at least four districts, and possibly as many as three more, which are still under investigation. The districts thus far affected are Carling North, Hillview, Lancaster and Powell. Still being looked into are City Central, Mattawa West and Renfrew. It was not said exactly what will happen now, though by law it seems the Council will not be able to hold any further sessions or enact any regulations until the matter is resolved. Question 74. What is the subject of the newscast? Question 75. Which district is under investigation? Question 76. What will happen next? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Adam. I finally found out why I was getting shockingly good fuel consumption rates on my new car. I mean, 37 miles to the gallon? I was almost ready to write the newspapers and manufacturer about my amazing good fortune. Well, it seems my neighbor Lenny and his son Chuck thought I was a bit too enthusiastic about the car, so they wanted to play a little trick on me. Every night since I got the car, they have been sneaking into my driveway where I park it and putting a couple of gallons into the gas tank. Very cute. They finally confessed today when I told them yet again how amazing the car is. We had a good laugh about it. However, I'm not going to just let them trick me like that without getting back at them. So, let me know if you have any good ideas for a harmless prank I might play on them. Question 77. Why is the woman calling? Question 78. How did the woman react when she learned the truth? Question 79. What will the caller likely do next? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Attention! Food Heaven shoppers, due to the overwhelming success of our week-long two-for-one promotion on Corn Doodle's breakfast cereal, we have run out of stock. For that reason, we will extend the promotion until five days after the arrival of our next delivery, which is expected in three days. Also, for today only, we will apply this special reduction to Super Flakes and Captain Crisp in regular and family size and Honey Dogs, jumbo size only. That's for today only. Also, while you are in the breakfast food section, why not try a free sample of the delicious new Pop Diggies being handed out by our attendants in aisles 2 and 3? You won't be disappointed. Once again, we apologise for any inconvenience. Thank you for visiting Food Heaven. Question 80. Where is the announcement made? Question 81. When is a new shipment of corn doodles expected? Question
Question 82. What can be found in aisle 3? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following introduction. In the fourth of our series of lectures on Australian Aboriginal art, we will discuss the immediate impact of the arrival of European settlers on native culture. To deliver this lecture, we are most fortunate indeed to have a special guest. With doctorates in both anthropology and art history, Dr. Penelope Noble is recognised as perhaps the world's foremost authority on this and the broader subject of Aboriginal society. She is the author of countless academic papers and two highly regarded books, one of which, The Walkabout as Metaphor, crossed over from the scholarly ranks to become a general audience bestseller. Her current research is funded by grants from no less than four national and international foundations, including the L. R. Hasselman Trust, and she is a curator of the Indigenous Peoples Wing of the Gravehouse Museum and an adjunct professor at Westfield University as well as chairperson of the International Society of Anthropology. Question 83. How many lectures have there been so far? Question 84. What is not said about Penelope Noble? Question 85. Who funds Miss Noble's research? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following radio advertisement. Has the Formula One season got you excited? Feel the urge to get behind the wheel, put your foot to the floor and tear up the road? We can't offer you a million dollar race car and a Grand Prix circuit, but we can offer the next best thing, go-karts. When was the last time you drove a kart, if ever? You are in for a surprise. Karting is one of the fastest growing sports and pastimes in the country. And at Classic Kartway on Highway 8, three kilometers south of Sandston, we have the absolute latest in equipment. As you race around our 2.5-kilometer course in one of our super-fast, state-of-the-art carts, you'll feel like you're racing on the streets of Monte Carlo, and the checkered flag is waiting. With a restaurant and a playground and pool for children too young to drive carts, we offer safe, affordable fun for the whole family. Open seven days a week, from 10.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Question 86. What is being advertised? Question 87. How long is the track? Question 88. What is not said about carting? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following talk. Firstly, I'd like to thank all of you department heads and managers for coming to this meeting on such short notice. I won't waste time, but we'll get directly to the reason I called you here today. The rumours we have all heard recently are true. The company has been sold. Apparently, the contract is still being drafted by the lawyers, but a letter of intent has been signed and the deal should be completed within a week. This is not a merger, as some expected, but an outright sale. I know that will make many people nervous about their jobs, but the board has assured me that one of the terms of the deal was that nobody would be let go. And that is what I want to convey to your staffs. Their jobs are safe. No doubt the change will be difficult and there will be adjustments and problems, but we all do still have jobs. Question 89. Why was the meeting called? Question 90. What is said about the contract? Question 91. What is not said about the upcoming change? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we would remind you that it is both dangerous and illegal to run onto the field or throw soft drinks, bottles or any other items onto the field. This is especially true while the players and officials are present as serious injury can result from even the most harmless seeming object or from fan interference with players and officials. Violation of this rule may result in eviction from the premises or arrest and heavy fines. We would also ask those with field level seats stay at least 5 metres away from all equipment, lighting and television camera trucks. This is for your own safety as well as that of cameramen and technicians. And finally, we remind you that the consumption of alcoholic beverages is limited to restaurants and beginning this season has been banned in the stands, corridors and restrooms. Violators will be prosecuted. Question 92. Where is this announcement most likely made? Question 93. What is not mentioned as a possible result of breaking a rule? Question 94. Where may alcohol be consumed? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following radio advertisement. Announcing the grand opening of Clearview Optical, your visionary superstore. Opening tomorrow at 9 o'clock, Clearview will boast the city's most complete range of elegant frames, including many made from unbreakable synthetic materials and designer brands like Debile, Skioko, Tolo, and Serge Buleo. If you have no prescription or your prescription needs to be changed, there are in-store optometrists who will provide a speedy and professional examination and write a new prescription for lenses to be ground in our on-site labs. Pick out your frames, have your examination, have the lenses ground and receive your stylish new glasses, all in the time it takes for a short lunch. Each pair of glasses comes with your choice of a hard or soft shell case and as an introductory special for this week only, with each set of frames, you will get a second pair of equal or lower value free. Clear view at Main and Lennox. The choice is clear. Question 95. What is said about the store's frames? Question 96. What is not said about eye exams? Question 97. What is offered as an introductory special? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following talk. Before I begin, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Principal Adler for inviting me. My purpose this morning is simple, to persuade you all to meet with us and consider a career with Unidyne Industries when the time comes to leave here. I hope to do that by explaining the company to you, who we are, what we do, and what our vision of the future is, and most importantly, how you might help fulfill that vision and create that future. We like to think that even though we have been in operations for over half a century, we are as bright, motivated, forward-looking, and innovative as the newest startup. Our research and development division is second to none, as is our commitment to the nurturing of young minds and talents that people such as you embody. Question 98. Who are most likely the listeners? Question 99. What does the speaker hope to do? Question 100. What does he not say about Unidyne? 